this is James Fawkes from Integrative Healing Arts and today we're going to explore a Scarabelli inspired yoga practice and we're going to look at a principle that's very very important in this work which is to use the right amount of effort in all of our activities because we are ultimately working towards being more effortless in our practice so we're going to start on our backs today, lying down. Let your shoulders relax, let your spine soften. Relax your jaw. And the first thing that we want to look at in any exploration of effortlessness is an effortless breath. There are all sorts of restrictions that occur in our breathing from the stresses and tensions of our lives. And we're looking to allow those tensions to dissipate so that breathing is effortless. And when breathing is effortless, it almost feels like the breath is idling. And this term has mechanical origins. And it's when a car is not moving and the engine is running and there's an ease to that flow. So notice how your breath feels today. Let's take the right leg up towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers behind the thigh, working up towards the ceiling and also feeding back in towards the center. So one of the ways that we begin to change the tensional fields is not just to stretch open the tension, but to allow our tensions to connect more fully via the center. Let's change sides. life to the feet on both sides, extending away and also feeding in towards the center. Lowering back down when you're ready. Hands alongside the heels. Let's lift the pelvis. Shoulders relax, spine is nice and open. And you can gently roll back down through the spine and bring the soles of the feet together and take the knees wide. So a lot of this early work is to kind of begin to open up the tissues very gently without a huge amount of hard effort, mostly letting gravity and breath do the work. Respiration has the power to affect many, many systems in the body, particularly the muscular and fascial systems, and also the skeleton because of its attachments to the spine. Then you can place one hand on each knee and roll from side to side. And let's come around and come to all fours. So in order to become more effortless, we have to change some of our foundational assumptions. As well as this downward force of gravity, there's this upward action, which brings lightness and makes all of our actions less effort filled. When you're ready, you can spread the fingers, tuck the toes under, and let's move up and back into our first dog pose. So high up with the pelvis, deep breaths, giving the weight down, finding that lift back up, the upward action in the 
pursuit of effortlessness is perhaps more important than the down. They are in fact both part of the same gravitational phenomena. Let's take the right leg forwards into a lunge. We're going to take the arms out and in the same way that we were letting the legs feed back in towards the centre, let your arms feed back in towards the centre here. So, got my arms out to the side, just gently feeding the arms back in towards the centre with the right leg forwards. Release, change sides. So left foot forwards, arms up and out, connect high up into the fingers and feed the arms back in towards the centre, meeting whatever tension is arising in your experience. Good. Then you can release back down again. And let's come back to all fours. So toes tuck, deep breaths, up and back when you're ready. So try and let the weight bearing, which is part of the experience, be relatively easy by giving your weight to the bones and don't excessively push. Look for lightness to carry you back up towards the pelvis, towards your center. And then lower back down when you're ready. And let's come back onto the back. So let the body settle, let the spine relax. Deep breaths. Come back to that diaphragmatic idling, that way of breathing that's very, very easy internally. Effortless breath. Keep readjusting the position of your body as the spine begins to soften and open up more. Let's bring the right knee in towards the chest, catch the right knee, let the left leg extend away. Reach out through the foot and the ankle, softening through the back of the waist. Change sides. Connect to the feet and the ankles, allowing the spine to lengthen. This time let's catch the big toes with the index fingers and take the feet out slightly wide. You don't need to push the legs straight. If we're looking for effortlessness, then we want to find that in every position to some extent. And we're working to, again, feed back in. So it's not so much about can I push harder and further, but can I soften back more? And then release the feet down, soles of the feet onto the ground, relaxing deeply within the spine, within the body. Good, let's come around and come to all fours. Deep breaths. Nice open spine, spread the fingers open, up and back into dog pose when you're ready. Hands drop down, spine lifts up. Deep breaths. Lowering back down when you're ready. Right leg forwards back into the lunge again. This time, we're going to take the arms up towards the ceiling. So connect up with your fingers. You can bring the hands together if you wish. Open up gently through the belly. Keep the shoulders free so there's not excessive effort in the shoulder girdle area. Lower down, 
Turn the sides. Arms up towards the ceiling. Deep breaths. Long through the waist, long through the back. Good. Lowering down again when you're ready. And let's come to kneeling this time. So sit back gently onto the heels, allowing your lower leg to lengthen. If you can't kneel, you can put the hands alongside you to take the pressure off the knees and the ankles. And if you're comfortable, you can sit up tall. Come forwards gently. Let's find our first cobra. So easing forwards. Long through the spine, through your front. Settling back. Hands in slightly. And just undo your spine and just notice where the things are feeling more connected, more free. Let's bring ourselves back up and this time all the way to stand. And we're going to take the right foot forwards. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fold at the hips and we're going to keep our arms out the way so we're going to rest our hands lightly onto our lower back and then what you're going to do is you're going to lift up gently through the spine and you're going to try to minimize the amount of effort you're using so focus on this lift up through the legs and forward through the spine up through the legs and forward through the spine back up to standing Chain sides, easy action, down into the feet, up through the legs, forwards through the spine. So this upward movement is something that we can feel. So you can feel the lift coming through the legs. So there's a rhythmical quality to the down and the up. Come back up, good. Let's take the right foot forwards again. This time we're going to balance. So we're gonna catch the top of the left ankle and you can take the right up, <coughs> you can take the right arm to the side. So up and out with your fingers, lifting back up through the standing leg, minimizing the amount of hard force and gripping that you're using. Release, chain sides. Deep breaths, long spine, up and out with the fingertips. Lifting gently through the standing leg, through the belly, through the spine, all the way to the throat and the arm. And then release. It's going to turn the feet out slightly. We're going to come to our first squat. So you're going to have your hands forwards if you want to. And then sitting down towards the squat. You can bring the hands in if that's comfortable. Or you can have the arms extended out. Deep breaths here. Now there is work going on. So one of the misnomers is that we are immediately able to move into this effortlessness. And in fact, it takes a lot of work to get to the place where these things feel effortless. So that's what we're practicing. We're practicing that feeling of effortlessness. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that same balance on further. So we're gonna catch the top of the left foot once again and I'm hoping that you've got a chair or a block somewhere and you can just bring your hand onto the chair so you're holding your back foot and you're bringing yourself towards a supported balance 
So opening up through that back thigh, deep breaths. You can play around with the position of the knee. Change sides. So this takes us into some new openings through the pelvis. Deep breaths. Catch the top of the back foot. Steady the mind. Try and find that sense of relative ease and effortlessness in your balancing. Then you can bring the hand to the chair. So you're just rotating your knee and thigh back slightly. Keep your head in line with your spine. Deep breaths. Explore the openings that are happening. Try and maintain a degree of effortlessness. Release down. Good. Let's come onto the back. All the way back down to ground. Settling back. Breathing deeply. Long through the back of the waist. Relaxing your shoulders and your spine and your neck. Bring the knees in, one hand on each knee. Roll from side to side. This time, take the right leg up towards the ceiling, catch the big toe with the index finger, left arm to the side. Don't fight the body, so think about the upward movement through the leg and the arm, and don't excessively push against the tension. Release, chain sides. Resist the temptation to fight your body. Instead, breathing and relaxing, remaining relatively effortless as you meet the tension, stay calm. Don't be tempted to push. Release down. Take the arms up towards the ceiling. Open up through your shoulders and your back. Softening the back ribs. Nice deep breaths. Let's interlace the fingers around the right knee again. Left leg extends. This time right arm out to the side. And rolling across with your right knee towards the left and you can rest your inner heel on the right foot on the inside of the left thigh. Now if it feels strainful you can move back towards the center slightly to take the pressure off. Let's swap sides, catch the left knee, right leg extends, left arm out to the side Roll across. So this time, left knee goes right, left arm is out, left heel rests on inner thigh. And again, use your discernment to track the levels of tension. If it feels like you're using too much force or effort, then readjust, back off. Keep breathing. Let's come back to center and let's come around to sit up. So in every position there's this feeding back in towards the center, gathering back in through the thighs, through the arms, deep breaths. And this ultimately 
brings us to a more effortless state in our being. So can you sit with a feeling of very minimal leg tension, so there's no effort to sit up. And if you need something to sit on, that might give you a little bit more lift, which might give you the opportunity to feel a little bit less effort being used. Let's slide the legs out away from you. So same process, minimal effort. Let the weight of the legs drop, feeding back in through the arms, feeding back in through the legs, gathering into the center to find that lift more completely. So it's a rhythmical quality, releasing, feeding in, releasing, feeding in. Good. We're going to adopt a different kind of position now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the left leg all the way out to the side. So you're on the side of the left foot. And then you're going to bring your right heel close to the pelvis. So you've got this deep opening in the hip and the thigh. It can be a little awkward. You can roll up and over the heel slightly to change the tensions in the hip. Let's try the other side. So you're reaching your leg way out to the side. The hip is roughly level with the heel as you look across the leg. And there may be tensions deep in the hip from here. Again, you can roll the foot. Good, now, you're gonna do the opposite this time. So you're gonna slide your lower leg out, bring your opposite leg on top. So reach way out through that lower leg, use the supportive arm on the opposite side to help you sit up. So you're lengthening all the way through the outside of the leg, whereas previously you were working in deeply into the inside of the leg. Use this foot in front of you to help you sit up. Good, change sides. So lower leg away, upper leg on top, almost like a cow pose. Use this other arm to help you sit up. So you've got a deep lengthening through the side of the waist. You can let this other arm be quite free. Continue to find that effortless breathing. Good, and then release from there. Back to sit. And again, seeking that feeling of effortlessness in sitting. Relax deeply. Nice long spine. Good. From here we'll gently rotate. So just put one hand behind you. Sit up and tall. Look across your shoulder gently. side. Turning gently across your body. Loosen the spine and let's come back around to all fours. Right leg forwards into the lunge. Hands together, arms up, deep breaths, long through the spine. So this is a gentle back bend that's happening here. You can bring the weight forwards into the front foot. Release down, swap sides. Arms up towards the ceiling, deep breaths. Can 
connecting high up into the fingers. Lowering down slowly. Hands onto the ground and all the way onto your belly. You can rest the head on the hands. Then you can bend the knees and let's reach back and catch both feet. And on the first one, just keep your nose close to the ground. Relax the shoulders and the chest. Just get used to this catching of the feet, heels relatively close. Relax in the thighs, down towards the knees. Release, hands on the ground, back to all fours. Hands forward slightly, toes tuck, up and back into dog pose. So very open now, minimal effort, Give your weight to the bones. Resist the temptation to push against the tissues in an aggressive way. Keep finding that upward motion. Downward happens without you needing to try. Upward lift may require your attention. Back down with the knees. This time, and you may like to have something under your knee this time. Coming back up to your lunge position when you're ready. Deep breaths. Let's start with the arms up, creating that sense of length through the waist. opening right up through the abdomen and from here you're going to pick up the top of your back foot so that you're holding your knee as you lunge so you're holding your ankle as you lunge excuse me so you're holding top of the foot or ankle deep breaths if this feels like too much then don't do it so this is where this Deep lengthening of the thigh and the hip can come in and we're not using a lot of hard effort to do this even though it may be quite a strong position. Keep your spine lifted through the front. So use your front foot to lift the front of your spine. Release, change sides. So taking the front foot slightly forwards, catching the top of the back foot, you can have the arms up to start with, and then reaching back and catching when you're ready. Deep breaths. You can rest the hand onto the knee if you want to on the, on the front leg side. Try and sit up as tall as you can out of your back knee. And then release. And let's come all the way back down. This time to hair pose. So knees wide, big toes touch. Settle the pelvis back towards the heels slowly. Listening to your lower back.
opening up gently through the spine as you breathe. Feeding back in towards the center. Coming forwards when you're ready. Feeding back in here from arms <clears throat> to spine. Feeding back in here from legs, knees and feet to lower back. Up into dog pose. And then you can lower the knees down. Come back to kneeling. You may feel more open now through the front of the leg, through the front of the spine. Deep breaths. Relax deep inside the knees and the lower legs if you can. If you can't, you can kneel up or have the hands either side of you to take the pressure off. Let's come back around to sit again. So we seek effortlessness again and again from moment to moment. So we're taking the hard pushing out, we're meeting positions both easy and difficult seeking a sense of effortlessness. So as you sit, find ease and effortlessness in your sitting. Take the feet out wide again. So this time maybe you can rest the hands on the shins or the feet. If you still need your hands behind you to, to take the effort out of lifting your spine, then that's fine. Deep breaths. Up through the spine. You can turn towards one leg placing the hand on the shin or the foot. You can put the other hand alongside you to support that lifting action. Change sides when you're ready. Deep breaths. back to center and slide the legs back in again and just tune into your own sense your felt sense of effort and ease So as we find greater states of effortlessness within our physical explorations, the mind can begin to settle and we still have that sense of diaphragmatic idling, this feeling of the breath turning over very easily. And it may not be as deep, it may be softer and quieter. So let's come on to the back from there to finish up. Take your arms back up towards the ceiling.
spreading out gently through the fingers. Soften that whole area of your upper back, interlace the fingers, roll from side to side. Lowering the hands back down when you're ready. Take the right leg back up, catch the big toe with the index finger, left arm to the side. What degree of ease do you have here now? Where do you find a sense of effortless, maybe effortlessness? Maybe you can open up a little further and still feel relatively effortless in the position. Let's change sides. Lowering back down when you're ready. Interlace the fingers, pick up the skull, hold the head in the hands, and roll gently from side to side. Settling through your back and your shoulders. Deep breaths, lower the head back down gently. Hands back onto the diaphragm. Refine that sense of diaphragmatic idling. Deep breaths. Shoulders relax. Let's recatch the right knee left leg extends so maybe the movements and the positions now have a greater sense of ease right arm to the side roll across right knee goes towards the towards the left side back to center, change sides, so re returning to that twist, allowing the deep inner body to relax, Turning to center, another few breaths here again, just sensing that freedom in the breath. Relax the shoulders and the spine. And when you're ready, you can extend your arms and legs away from you. Reach out gently through the feet. Let the feet roll out to the sides. Maybe just for a moment, find your fingers and toes and have a sense of that rich connection to the center that you've been feeling throughout the session today.
you're ready, you can bring your knees in towards you. Lightly catch the knees. Roll from side to side. Cross your lower back. Easy, effortless movement. And then make your way around to sitting up. Namaste.